Sagittarius and welcome to your July forecast and I call this month as a title on blessed journeys right and also high level love and why is that well let's just start off with what is really just jumping out in your chart this month and it's Venus and Mars they're going to be traveling together and on the 13th of July that is the exact date when they do the dance and Venus, of course, is everything that you love, Sagittarius. And it rules love and romance. It rules everything that your heart desires. It loves all the beautiful things in life. And, of course, it is also financial situations as well. Now, Mars is the driving force. It is that onboard propellant that we have where you take action, where you're going to jump up and do whatever it is that... Your Venus, heart's desire wants, it's going to take charge of it, and nothing is going to be holding you back. It's just going to come to you very, very natural, and it could be these very same circumstances that's coming to you, not just you initiating, but you might be the recipient of this. So if you have any plans to travel this month, it would be one of the best months throughout the year, having both of them there. It will assure you that you're going to have a great, great time and many beautiful memories to take home. Um, and Mars, of course, is really wanting to be proactive at preparing. And preparing for what? Well, you know, the ninth house is everything that we do before we get into the 10th house, which is our ultimate goals. It's also our career. It's that higher direction that we're trying to, to aim for. So the ninth house is all about preparing for how to get there, taking the right steps. Maybe we're doing research. Maybe we're taking an online course um, or, or something of the nature of really wanting to know. This is going to give you all the insights. And as Sagittarians, you're always very attuned to that higher energy. This is coming to you and you're going to be loving it. It's not work. It's more like a labor of love, okay? And you're going to be really drilled to the point where you're feeling that your adrenaline is just propelling you to go get those goals. But yes, do circle the 13th for a romantic outing. If you are already in a relationship, you're going to have a wonderful time. And if you're single, well, in such theories, you might just meet Mr. or Mrs. Wright, a new partner that you will start dating. You're extra, extra magnetic because these two planets are moving through the sign of Leo, which is very, very charming. So you're going to be embodying all that extra charm. Um, communication is going to be important too this month where Mercury is moving through the sign of Gemini and it rules Gemini. So it's kind of like a double whammy. And the area where it's showing up in your chart is the seventh house of partnerships, relationships, anybody that you work with one-on-one. -on -one. I feel that it will just flow for you. You won't have any guards up or anything. You just got the gift of gab. You're going to shoot straight, not just from the hip, but from the heart since Venus and Mars is up there. You're going to say it and call it as you see it. You're going to be, be very blunt here. And I feel this is what is really going to be propelling you forward because uh, it's going to open doors. You're not going to be holding back. And of course, as a Sagittarian, you're always looking for adventure. And I promise you, this could be an adventurous month for all of you. Now, the new moon here, Sagittarius, for you this month. Um, and we love, love, love the new moons. Why? Because this is where we place our intentions, right? So that we can magnetize and manifest into our life what they are trying to tell us. For you, it has to do with your savings. So not necessarily your, your monthly income or week to week income, but what you have in your savings account, maybe your investment accounts. Uh, it could be royalties and commissions. But here on the 10th, this is where you want to focus on what you want to achieve between now and next year's new moon in the same area. So you're actually planting a seed for the full year of how you want to grow and propel your savings, right? Um, and profits there. 
The sun is going to help you there. It passes through this area only once a year. So you might be focusing and using more money or, or should I say more time on your money uh, that you have with others, meaning either your partner, your roommate, your significant other or banking institutions and so forth. Uh, so it's not your income per se, but it's like, how can I grow this area of my life? And if you put your intentions down correctly or write that check, that monthly check that we write to ourselves and then we tear up, right? But that is your manifestation check. Put the amount that you desire to reach within a month, put that in there, put it aside and then see how this can be a magnet for you. So that is on the 10th. You want to do that. And then the full moon will come in on July 24th showing up in your third house. The third house is communication. It's short distance travel. It's also interaction more so with your siblings or your neighbors and so forth. Um, so on the 24th, there might be some news coming to you or maybe you have good news that you will be sharing with your neighbors or your siblings. Um, and I feel that since it's going to be passing Saturn, Saturn has been working for you in this area since top of the year. Now it's currently retrograde, slowing things down a little bit, but we have to see the blessings of all retrogrades um, because when it slows things down, it allows us time to kind of go back and look over certain things that we were working on in the past, maybe because we were too busy that we weren't really ready and able to go in and fulfill certain things, but now you'll have time to it. So if you've had projects, for example, set the cherries that you started, now would be the time to kind of look back over them. How can you tweak them to your benefit for the long run? Um, and so that is going to work for you, especially around the time of the full moon, around the uh, 24th. See what that is going to do for you, and that will be great. Now, let's talk about Jupiter, which is your ruler. And uh, it is currently traveling through your fourth house. Fourth house rules your home, your family, your foundation, properties, and so forth. And so I can see how many of you Sagittarians are wanting to enlarge your space, okay? To expand your space. Jupiter wants space. Think about the size of the planet in and of itself. It's not like a tiny little Mercury, right? So there's thoughts. Jupiter now being retrograde might slow things down a little bit here uh, in July. That's okay. Um, it's giving you extra time to do research to, to perhaps find either the right place, the right area, or the right mortgage company, whatever it is, uh, or to get all your ducks in a row when it comes to your your savings, you've got Pluto in that second house, right? And currently the sun going through your eighth house. So you're kind of looking at where you're at financially in order to find the perfect spot. And you don't have to rush for this. Jupiter is going to be in this area for a year. Right now, it's just getting your feet wet, kind of like feeling the urge, right, of expansion and wanting more uh, square footage. Um but then it's going to go back into your third house, you know, for autumn. So it's not going to be before the end of the year, say December. It's really going to reopen the door. Then Jupiter will move in with direct energy and be with you. So huge changes, Sagittarius, for you in 2022 when it comes to home and home life and family. It's, Jupiter is so generous and so abundant, right? It's going to be a great, great year for it. But now... Yes, it's good to kind of just do research and to really embody that feeling, that itch of wanting a change, right? Sometimes we have to mentally and emotionally nurture the energy of before we make that big of a move and then we'll be ready. Um, what else do we have for you here? Uh, yeah, Neptune has been in this area, so you've been dreaming for a long time, but action is following in. Now that Jupiter is going to bump in, and remember though, Jupiter is your ruling planet, right? So it's going to take charge of your foundation, how you live, where you live, um, financially, what you're going to be putting in 
to securing your, your roots. Fourth house is all about roots for the future. This coming year is going to be one of the most important years of how you're going to be securing your financial security of your home life for the next 12 years. So it's time to start thinking about that. Yes, so I guess that is pretty much what we have. I would suggest go listen to your partner's chart this month, especially. I say that every month. Uh, it's nice to, to hear what she or he or she is having for you. But since Venus and Mars right now are going to be doing this dance on the 14th, make sure to see where he or she has Venus and Mars show up in their chart. Why? Not only because it's going to benefit them, but it could also benefit you. You will see the avenue of where they might now be shooting that arrow towards you romantically, right? So listen, I'll see you next month. Have a great one. Bye now.